last year, I, I was emotionally abused by the first and only man that I've ever been in love with. It took me a year to accept that I have in fact been abused. It's funny because I spent so many times advocating for survivors, telling them that they're valid and that they are not to blame for what happened. But I don't want to be someone who has been abused. I don't want to give someone the power to tell me that I was overreacting. And most of all, by accepting the term survivor means that I have to acknowledge all the damage that he has done, that there was real. That the girl writing this isn't the girl before I met him, not for a long shot. And it would mean that I, I could never talk to him again. It's not like I had this vision of him apologizing to me later on and us becoming close again. Or maybe I did, but more so the pain of not knowing the bad memories of him, because I have so many. But the fact that I have good memories too, it's hard to reconcile his two halves. The one who abused me and the one that I trusted and fell in love with. All of my life, I thought, because of the way that I grew up, that I was incapable of being properly loved. I felt so validated myself because it proved to me that I was lovable. Well, now I know that he did not love me. Despite the fact that I've grown to love myself, Despite the fact that I love the girl writing this just as much as I love the naive girl from sophomore year, who I used to be. Who knew that she was fucked up but still believed in love despite her best intentions? Despite the fact that abuse is real and I am valid and I've been hurt and I hope one day I'll recover this! This sometimes haunts me. Not the bad memories, the panic attacks, the sobbing by the lake, wondering what I did or what I did wrong. No, no. It's the good memories that haunts me. I want to end this piece by saying that I have emerged and have accepted the term survivor and have been healed. But that isn't true, and that's okay, because I am in the process of healing. I may heal my whole life. Emerging from one's trauma is a process, one that many couldn't get to experience. I haven't emerged yet, but I hope someday I will. I hope all survivors emerge.